All right, guys, welcome to In The Box Collection. It's your boy, Francis, and I'm happy to hear with the one and only, the one and only, the Pacers fans, Mr. Andrew from Bubblegum and Leather. What's I'm up, so everyone? Representing the Pacers tonight. Goga. Goga, huh? All right, man, so you want me to shoot you out some questions? How do you want to do this? Uh, game hey, you're, you're right picking now. the Wizards, man. Tell me why. Uh, why? Why nobody cares that the Pacers score 144 points? That's why you shouldn't have picked him. <laughs> it's like nobody cares that they make some break record concept. Like, oh yeah, they beat the high school team in the in the Hornets. Um, who is Brissett? What? Okay, so O'Shea a, Brissett. Yeah, from a Pacer standpoint of view, how do you guys go from not being relevant, having one All Star, and now being not being relevant? Why, oh, why are you taking shots? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, how could I? Uh, so the Pacers. How does it feel to be a Pacer fan? What do you guys? Do you guys have expectations? Is that real? No. So you know you this know already that, that I wanted them to not make the play. <laughs> you already knew that. Yeah. So, but now we're here. We might as well win. I don't know. Did you watch the last dance, Francis? The the last dance with the uh, the the Michael Jordan or the yeah, last yeah. game. The last, yeah, last dance with, with Jordan, Jordan, the documentary. Yeah, I yeah I watched Save the Last Dance. So I was, what does that oh, have to do with the Pacers? movie Save the Last Dance? So. <laughs> okay, what does that have to do with the Pacers? Okay, so Larry Bird was the coach of the '98 All Star team in okay. that movie. I mean, in real life, but in the yeah. movie too. And you know, he said in the locker room, like, "Hey guys, I know it's an All Star game, but we're here. We might as well win." Uh... That's how I feel about the Pacers now. We're in. We might as well win. I didn't want you to be here. Let me make it very clear. I would have much preferred to have a chance <laughs> at Cade Cunningham. We didn't want to be here in the first place. No, we, we did not. We, we really didn't want to be here. But you know what? Our coach is terrible. Uh, we get in fights like on the sideline. You know, we're, we're ready for tonight as long as Goga plays. I don't even know what the deal with Goga is. I know that when he goes in, the team's like fired up. They're, His plus minus is off the charts. Yeah, they're they're like well, they, when he goes in, they're up by like twenty points or down by twenty, so it's not really. How like, dare you? <laughs> okay, uh, from a Pacer standpoint of view, what do you guys have to do to beat the Washington Wizards? Well, number one, it's ridiculous for me to try to talk about that because uh, they have <laughs> Russell Westbrook and we do not. Um, they have Bradley Beal and we do not. Um, so my game plan for tonight would be to hope that perhaps like somebody's <laughs> in the stands waving at them. Maybe they get distracted and perhaps we have a chance, but I'll, I don't think that absent that we have any chance of beating the Wizards. So, so just hope. <laughs> yeah, I mean, O'Shea Brissett, shout out. You're my one and only hope. You may lead us to victory because no one knows who you are. There's no tape on you. You don't have a rookie oh. card. No one she, knows who you are. He's in a poster for uh, whatever school he went to. I, I have no clue. You, you tell uh, me. You could tell me he went to like. Uh, What's the funniest college you could have went to, Francis? Uh, Oswego University, uh, Harvard. Uh, you live in like the boondocks of Idaho. Is there a college I, by you? Idaho State University. He came straight from Idaho State University, but that's but like people actually know Boise. We need yeah. something like worse than that, like you know, way uh, out there. Some like D three school deep in like Minnesota or somewhere. There, there's uh, one close to where I grew up. They were NAIA, which means that they weren't even NCAA, and it was called Cedarville University. Shout out Cedarville University. Yeah. Maybe that's so, where he's from. Oh, actually, O'Shea Brissett, man, he has a poster with his signature that is now worth thirty dollars. Well, My man it went makes to sense. He's, he's getting buckets. Orange. He's getting boards. Dude, he is a beast. Like it's straight from like he's picked up from the G League. Yeah, the G League should get called it's like the next AU team. All right, um, back to the Pacers. Demontis Sabonis, I don't like his game at all. Why does he cry so much? Like, well, 
Uh, I'll tell you, it's two reasons. Number one, he played with Victor Oladipo, who is the master of like crying a river about anything. And then number two, he, you know, he's he's a uh, Euro. That's what they know. It's soccer. It's everything Euro, man. Like you, you just play to win the game. Remember Herm Edwards? You play to win the game. The I remember watching the game. Uh, Pacers were up like twenty something. Demetrius Sabonis is like one for like twenty seven, and he's like, "Well, that nah. never happens." But whatever. Okay. <laughs> Wait, the up by twenty, or that he actually went for like one for twenty seven. Both. Both. <laughs> uh, he was just crying the whole time. He would miss a layup by himself. Be like, "I didn't get the foul." Bro, get over it. Okay, so the, the Pacers, Pacers went are tonight. not fun to watch. I'm not okay. here to like opine <laughs> for how great the Pacers are. What I'm saying is like we're here now. We might as well win. Like, Enjoy it, right? I did not want them to be here. I want to be very clear. I would have much rather they get a lottery pick. But we're here now. We beat the Hornets. We knocked out LaMelo and Miles Bridges, who everyone thought was like the second coming of Ray Allen and – you know, now we're here. We might as well win. I mean, Miles Bridges is a beast defensively. He had like twelve blocks. Um, they okay. lost. Francis. So the Pacers, okay. they yeah, lost. They, they, they lost. Over. Uh, the Pacers don't want to be here. The Pacers are what? on the team. You so, are being, what did I do to you? Why are you being <laughs> like this? I don't know. When we suck. <laughs> I've, we've never won. It's a small market. No one cares about us. Why can't it be like our turn to have like one <laughs> cool thing happen tonight where we beat the team that no one's given the Pacers a chance? Are you that serious? Like everyone yeah. loves Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook. They're way more fun to watch than Malcolm Ish Brogdon Smith. and DeMontis Sabonis. But we have we're real. here. Let's win, Francis. We're here. All right. So pay me how the Pacers make it to the NBA Finals. They don't unless Goga <laughs> plays. I think I have like false hope on the Pacers, and it makes me salty because the Pacers made it. But and now my who cares? We never win anything. Why would you hate us? (laughs) We're the most boring team ever. All we do is draft white guys: Tyler Hansborough, Doug McDermott. I mean, TJ McConnell. Anyone hate us? It's the most boring team ever. TJ McConnell is fun to watch. TJ McConnell is like a success story. Uh, and shout out A10, Duquesne. TJ McConnell went there first before Arizona. <laughs> oh, man. Um, thank you so much. You just made my day. Uh, go You're Wizards. You're taking the whiz. One, yeah, yeah. Last, one last comment, Francis. Okay. okay. I bought three Daniel Gafford rookie cards. Yes. If the Pacers lose, it's okay as long as Daniel Gafford plays well. Good point. Good point. Uh, I thought he was going to do better with the Bulls. That's completely entirely relevant, though. We can talk about him later on. Um, but what if the Pacers – now you got me thinking, man. What if the Pacers really do win? Like, because nobody's picking them. Nobody's talking about Brissett. We should be talking about Brissett. We really so, should because he has no rookie cards. So if you find no. one, you're, it's like an eBay one of one. Don't you love that, Francis? EBay yeah, right. You could sell that for like a million bucks. Honestly, you could probably just take his brother's picture and be like, hey, here's Jacoby Brissett. Shea hey, Brissett. Is it his brother? Does anyone know? I don't know, but like, I th- didn't you tell me that? No, that was a joke. I was just <laughs> I don't know if they're related or not. Oh, ma'am. Oh, uh, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> thank you. This is, has been like the best pregame show. I hopefully we can get you an interview with you for the postgame after the Pacers take that L. It depends. If, if they lose and Daniel Gafford plays well, I'm here for you, buddy. But if they lose and Daniel Gafford didn't do anything or didn't play, I may be in bed. Oh, here comes my wife. Who's that? I'm on a podcast. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> like, no need to apologize. I don't know if you can hear me. Can she hear me? Uh, maybe. 
It's we're just talking about how the Pacers are going to go uh, win a championship, starting out with a triple double by O'Shea Brissett, that may may or may not be brother of Jacoby Brissett. Then they're going to go on to play HC, right? So HC gets the uh, versus. We're going. We're coming for you, Philly. Yeah. Oh, TJ McConnell's going to average a triple double against his old team. His old team revenge. Trust the process. Trust the white guys. That's what the Pacers <laughs> say. All right, I got nothing else. Thank you so much for the pregame shot. I really appreciate it. I'm not even. I'm not even edit this. It's gonna go straight up right into it. Thank you, everybody. Go check out Andrew Bubblegum and Leather on Spotify, on Apple. His podcast, new episode is out. Uh, buy some cards from us because we're broke and we really need money so we can buy the OSHA. Buy our wife stuff. Hi, wife. <laughs> Is that Francis? Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. Good. Doing pretty good. I nice am, uh, to meet you, man. Likewise. We hear, uh, I heard a lot about you. Well, she comments what on your What does that show. mean? <laughs> what, what are you trying to do to me right now? <laughs> Go, Wizards. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we know that you're like, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> We've gotten all off the rails now. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Uh, make sure you guys check out Andrew Bubblegum and Leather. Uh, oh, by the way, great MJ car. Is that your car? That's that my car that, well, it's Bubblegum and Leather's car. Bubblegum and Leather's car. <laughs> Everybody go check out Bubblegum and Leather. Great Justin Herbert's. He's eBay is like popping. Hi, right, man. This is so much fun. Can't wait to hit you up after the Pacers lose. <laughs> I can't wait to hit you up after the Pacers win. O'Shea Brissett. Come on inside the bubble. <laughs> Come on in the box collection. Let's Shout go. out O'Shea Brissett. Shout out. 